What up, tough love gang gang? Got another uh, collective to do for you guys. See what the messages are now. Um, I've been having dreams. And in the dreams, I've been getting the downloads from my um, spiritual gang team. Uh, yeah, they are pretty tough. And I want to just put a warning out here that if you don't want to hear the truth about things straightforward, because I can be... I can be like very straightforward in what I say, you know, without too much emotions involved in it because, you know, I got messages to deliver, right, to those who need to hear it. Um, so I don't have time to be worried about, you know, people's feelings and all that kind of stuff. I don't know you. Y'all don't know me. Some of you do. Some of y'all have readings with me. That's why I've been tied up this week. Readings, readings, readings. Y'all just ganged up on me. But thank you so much for choosing me to be your reader. Um... So let's get with it. I don't do too much. I talk too much, don't I? I don't talk too much. Yeah. But um, <clears throat> the download that I got for somebody here, not saying this is for everybody and remember it's for entertainment purposes only. So, you know, and whatever don't fit for you, don't take it because I know there's a lot of information out here that people, but there's billions, you got to think there's billions of people in this world, not just you. So it don't have to be about just you. So my beautiful collective, I'm talking about somebody um, that you've been dealing with and I saw where, um, and I'm sorry to say this, but I'm not, but it is what it is. This is the message and I got to deliver it. There is somebody you've been dealing with who was messing with you really, really bad. Um, you know, sneaking, lying, conniving, but still want to be up in your face, using you for money and things like that, using you for things. Uh, this being that we're in karma right now and that's what you're hearing a lot of or no matter what channel you go to you're going to hear the real deal you know uh, um, you know you're going to hear what the energies is out here and the energies is what it is people getting paid back for the shit that they've done for people uh to people could have been years ago months ago days ago this is the time to reap what you have sown whether it be good or bad but back to what i was saying um Somebody, whoever this person you were dealing with has a grown daughter. It could be a male, but I'm picking up more, more of a, a female energy. When I was, you know, in my dreams, I was picking it up as being a, a woman, okay? And this woman has children, okay? Now, um, it, with, this is karma season. Like I said, for somebody's karma that did you this way, and we're going to bring it out in the reading as well. I know it's going to come out. Um... Somebody's going to lose their daughter. They're going to lose their daughter because of what they've done to you. Ain't that about a bitch? Ain't that something? Like, people don't know who they fucking with in this world today. they just going around doing anything to anybody. Think it's la di di la di da But when the consequences come and it's time to pay up for whatever it is that you've done, especially if you've done somebody wrong, you're going to get the wrong karma. This person done somebody wrong here in my beautiful collectives to, to a, a earth angel, I heard. It's an earth angel. Um, that's the, they're the ones that you just, maybe they didn't know who you were, but they're about to learn. They're about to, they're about to fuck around and find out. That's what they get ready to do. And it ain't nothing that you've done to them collected. I mean, you didn't do anything to them. This is all what you've been tolerating for a while is what I heard. So, somebody's getting ready to lose their daughter. It could be a son. But like I said, I picked up on a lot of feminine in energy. And it's, gonna, it's, it's supposed to happen because of what this person was doing. Like playing around with your energies. Um talking about you behind your back, making up lies and stories. Somebody, this is somebody who don't take accountability for anything, like for whatever they've done to you. They kind of left you on red, or you may have left them. I don't know, but somebody left somebody on red, and it's upsetting the hell out of them to where they're going to, you know, pra practitioners. They're doing all kind of stuff they ain't supposed to be doing. Is this... And spirit sees it, and spirit is protecting you very heavy. So you may, this is going to be something shocking. You may, you're going to hear about it. I know for sure you're going to hear about it. This person may even need you after this. This, per, this person might go to a dark night of the soul because of it. They were supposed to have been going through that. But this is like spirit is tired of them and their shenanigans and the way they act and treat people to where they're going to take, they're going to take what's close to their heart. It's not going to be them. It's going to be, you know, their, I heard a daughter. 
their daughters get ready to pass away up out of here. Just for what they do. See, sometimes when you do things to people, okay, you're going to reap what you sow in so many different kind of ways. Ain't no telling how spirit going to give it to you. There's just no, there's no way you're going to, you're going to, you ain't going to know. It might take your mother, it might take your father, somebody really dear and close to your heart that you don't even expect. And that's what's going to happen to this person. That's what I saw. That's what I saw in my dream. That with the download I got. I'm, and I'm sad, I'm saying it could be a, 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 a boy. See, you can pass your energy on to your family members without you can pass the curse on. If it's, you know, bad things, if it's good things, you pass on good things. It just depends. This person, whoever this is, collective, they did you dirty. They did you dirty. And you get ready to see them reap what they sow through one of, through a daughter, especially, or a, a son, a child of theirs is going to pass away. Spirits like they went too far. They went too far, so spirits want to go far on them, okay? That's that's what I heard, okay? Sorry about that. Cross watcher. Child is feminine. You uh you unity and emotions i told you it's going to be somebody that's really um close to this person's heart w whatever happens to, it's going to be like close to this it might open up their heart this person need to open up their heart and stuff in order to stop doing things that they're doing to people and thinking they're getting away with this person got away with it for a long time so by their actions towards you has put their own daughter in in um in their karmic cycle so something's get ready to happen to their daughter. I'm gonna st stick with that. Like I said, it could be it could be a daughter in masculine energy, somebody who takes care of everything, does everything. You know, the family relies on her or whatever it is. But they get ready to get out of here. They get ready to take them out. Now I'm trying to tell you, I ain't trying to be smart and funny. It is what it is. This is what's gonna happen. Um, during the full moon, it might be this full moon. Yeah, completion. It's, it's going to be completed on the next full moon. And there ain't nothing that this person could do about it. If they're sitting here watching, cross-watching or whatever, there's nothing they could do about it. Because they already put this energy out here. And this is somebody in specific. It may be a couple people. But I, I, this is somebody in specific is what I'm picking up. Somebody in specific, specific. <laughs> um... Could be an herb sign because it's got completion and pentacle. So pentacles are earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And it's whatever this happens on the full moon, it's definitely gonna be success. It's going to happen. It's going to happen to somebody who has been really, really treating you bad, collective earth angel. Yes, it is. It is. And I'm sorry I have to be the one that delivered that message. But this person has, needs to get it together. And if it has to mean taking a loved one of theirs, that's, it's going to happen. And like I said, this is pretty specific for somebody. Somebody cross-watcher is specific. Can you get some specific? Or... Okay, spirit team. Tough love team. There, I got it out, okay? Okay. unlovable yeah collective whoever you were dealing with was very cold hearted they don't know how to love and they're not lovable like they're they don't their heart is so closed they can't they don't make it to where anybody could love them especially by the way that they act and carry on they they just unlovable and it's this is so sad to me i mean whoever this person is it's just so sad and I'm hearing a lot of it got to do with their childhood wounds, like they refused to heal from it. This right here, like the things that they did to you collective, they did it to other people too. And it's all coming pouring down on them. But, you know, it's not your fault. I feel like you tried to help them, guide them, be some kind of, um, you were some kind of uh, rock for them. You've been their rock, which nobody else has. And it probably, it scared them. I think it scared them. Um... This person been through something for them to wake up to. I don't know if it was a with somebody else. They left you. Like, they made you feel like shit. And then come back. Come back. 
claiming they changed and all this stuff. And then when you got with them, you gave them a chance or something like that. And then it was the same old thing. This person takes you through cycles. This is how they live their life, through cycles. Even when they break up with people, after people figure them out, they just go to the next. You know, they go on to the next. So nobody's really special in there. You have been because you treated them like nobody else would. Mm-hmm. Cold. <laughs> this person's unlovable and cold as hell. Didn't I say that already? This person's got a, a, a real cold heart. Their their heart is their heart chakra is, is gone. It's crashed. Their heart chakra is crashed. And there is nothing there. It's just a shell. This person might well, I'm sorry. Maybe I should say this person might well be dead. I'm serious. This person might well be dead. Because they're not living life. They're 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 trapped within their own stuff that they haven't healed. And and this person this is a grown person I'm hearing. This person's grown. Like mm, a grown person collector you wouldn't just expect things like this like we're going through a spiritual well uh warfare like the, people's fangs and shit is coming out people's mask is falling off all over the goddamn world like this shit is going to be something else something else so y'all stay clear of this stuff like because spirit is in here um protecting the star seeds the, um the star seeds the uh the earth angels, all of you have done really good and helped people, been kind to people. You're all being protected, but you got to stay out of the way. I'm telling you right now, I don't care how bad you want to be around somebody, this particular person, you got to stare clear. This is the final test. This is it. You got to stay out the way or else you're going to get involved in their karma. You don't want to do that. This person's medicating right now. Like they drinking, smoking, drugs. See, when, when you're in this kind of state, you can't heal yourself and try to drink. Believe me, I've, I've done that before. I've been through all that stuff. You know, we all still grow and everything like that. But um, you can't drink and think that's going to solve the problem. The only thing it's going to do is make you rely on this drinking, smoking, whatever it is you do that's trying to help solve, solve your problem. The best thing to do, and I'm going to tell you right now from experience, the best thing to do is to avoid all that and just go ahead and heal yourself. Yes, it's going to be a difficult process, but if you, you're you going to do it, um, you're going to have help from your spirit guides, your spirit teams and things that, that help you through this. And before you know it, before you know it, you're done healed. You know, you, you're going to change things about you. You're going to change. You're not going to be the same anymore. It's like graduation. You know how you go to school and you take your tests and all that kind of stuff. And then you, you know, once you pass your test, you graduate. That's what, that's what healing yourself is like, graduating to the next level. You know what I mean? It like... You see things for what it is. You see yourself for what it is is the main thing. We all have to go through that process. So we got projecting and um, guarded. Your person is projecting. Like projecting talks about somebody who doesn't take a accountability for their actions. They just project everything. You, this person probably has a hard time talking or communicating with you. They just shut down or something like that. That's just weird. But this person's got problems and issues. They can't communicate. I don't know if in their family situation when they were younger, you know, every time they probably try to express themselves, they, they couldn't. They would shut them down and, you know, stuff like that. And they couldn't express themselves. They, know, they were told to shut up or something like that. But see, and they know this. If they know this, this is part of their healing. You know, and I know because, you know, the stuff that I went through and stuff, I know what I had to clean up, you know, and get together, you know, from whatever I suffered in my childhood or else you ain't going to make it. You're going to keep projecting, you know, because I was doing that. I was like um, blaming everything on other people to try to make myself feel good instead of, you know, taking suffering the consequences and standing up for the, the, the shit that I did. 
you know, I would study blaming other people and that wasn't the way. And I would study, you know, just trying to pacify with drinking and smoking, you know, stuff like that. I tried to pacify and next thing you know, that shit was right in my face the very soon as I came down off the high. So that's why I'm saying it's best to go ahead and heal yourself from these things and you don't be, and once you get, because once you get dependent on drugs and alcohol and things like that, it starts running your life. Why? Because you're not healing it. You're not, you're, you know, it's, it's denial. So that's what your person is, is right now. It's like they, they need to be on a healing process. And I think the only thing that may, if, if so, I don't know. I have to get more into the reading. The only way that's going to probably launch this person to really do something about it is this, 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 this death of a daughter or, you know, somebody that's really close to their heart. This is so sad. Mm, mm, mm. This person was supposed to be the curse breaker, you know, releasing all the uh, childhood trauma, so their their family, you know, like their kids, kids can kids can um, live a better life than st instead of keep passing on this um, negative energy from the from some from your past. <sighs> Holy Spirit, ancestors. Ascendant Masters, please give me the messages that you'd like for me to deliver, please. Reservate, what? Reservation, family, blessing, profession, professional. I'm sorry, profession. Yeah, somebody's got a lot, you know, Somebody's dealing with a lot, I'm telling you, especially from the past with family with a family situation here. Like, I don't know if this person's be like Captain Save or everybody or something like that. Like, everybody always can depend on them and they call on this person and stuff like that. But this and I, I, this is why this person holds, instead of pulling back and, and, and learning how to say no, they just go ahead and do it. I don't know if they on some type of ego trip or something or it makes them feel better. But these people don't make them feel no better. They just use them and toss them to the side. Now, if something happens to this person, I'm feeling like nobody's going to be there for them because they're dealing with the wrong type of people. They're dealing with the wrong type of family members or this stuff happening in, in, in like family. Like somebody could be like trying to do everything for everybody except for who they need to be doing it for collectively because you was there for them and they just like they just walked all around you. I don't know if it was on purpose but you're being blessed at this time. Your blessings are coming in. Okay? You're having your blessings coming in. Um... I feel like you're going to... Are y'all looking for a new car or something? Or got a new car? That's what I'm picking up. Like, something you wanted. It was like a car you wanted. I don't know. Holy Spirit Ancestors, Ascended Masters, what is the messages for the collective? the generational curse this person has to heal themselves to break the generational curse or somebody i hope maybe if like i said if this person collective if their person was you know getting it hexing or cursing or getting somebody else to do it regardless it's still on their hands whatever they have done here is on their hands and their family member which is that one girl I told you about or their daughter is going to be cursed with that and that brings on a death all right I can't even read this what is it like somebody's like you know inquisitive or something or curious about something or somebody might have a clue about this somebody might be or that somebody here may be cursing you that if you're online or something like that, like, 
Uh, that's just another message. I don't know if it's got nothing to do with the same thing, but I'm just going to read the, the messages, okay? Somebody could be putting a curse on you and your platform. If you're on a platform or something on a computer, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, something like that, somebody might be, you know, or even just watching you and putting, and they may be trying to curse you. This person better watch out who they messing with because, like I said, it ain't gonna be long that something happens to their them in there and it's gonna really hurt this person readiness ready to come look like somebody ready to take off ready to go somewhere coach fate now i take this as like who somebody could be a tarot reader or some kind of inspirational coach or help people or something like this collective you could be that right and somebody's curious they go into your page or whatever and trying to hex your page or hex or stop you from doing something or something like that and now they are ready to see what's going to take place right with nothing it ain't nothing gonna take place you know it ain't gonna do nothing but reverse because like i said you're protected they don't know who they really messing with but they get ready to fuck around and find out that's what they get ready to do coach and fate because this is a tarot card reader that, that's telling, it could be me, maybe spirit say of me. There's somebody telling you what the fate is behind this. You've been told if you're here or, you know, watching after the cross watcher, if you're here, this is what it is, okay? Now, you know, maybe it could save you and, and not want to do this, but if you've done it already, this is what's going to happen. And if you if you plan on doing it and you see in this reading, you better plan not to. I'm trying to tell you, if you got some children and you love them or whatever and you you don't want to see them go, you better not do this because it's going to happen to somebody going to be too freaking hard-headed, somebody too stubborn, somebody don't believe in tarot readings or, or, or spirituality and stuff and they may just do it. But I'm telling y'all, and I want you to come back to this video and go under the comment section and say it happened or it done happened already. It's going to happen triumph i'm telling you if they do this this is what's going to happen somebody's going to lose a daughter for some it may be a son because it could be somebody in their feminine energy it could be a guy in their feminine energy look oh look at that and they lose look at that look yep loss now you see how they i, I can't make this stuff up y'all you see how they holding that cat might be their daughter. Okay? Alright. <sighs> okay, Spirit, let's get with the messages. Let's get mm, let's get with the messages. Let's see what's going on. What's the messages? Then we're gonna get into the tarot and read that after I read the kipperish. And this is my get your get your shit together deck. See, there's a leech right there. Look at that. <laughs> I told y'all somebody been using you. They're a leech, draining. They're a gold digger, cling, clingy as fuck, won't let go. Is any one of them or all of those that some of y'all are uh, is with or was with or something like that? You belong to me. I really don't give a fuck about them. Okay, so some of y'all who are going to be in a new relationship, which I do, and I feel like that's that is coming. We've had this in some of the previous readings where you guys are going to get a uh, somebody else, and this person is going to like not quit. See, because on here it says gold digger won't let go, won't let go. All right, so whether you get somebody or not, this person is going to try to try to break that up. That's what they're going to try to do. <clears throat> this is for the ones I believe that aren't, um, that hasn't done anything yet far as, you know, 
I, I just there's several scenarios here. That's what I'm picking up. There's just different scenarios. I'm just gonna read this shit, try to put it together. It's a fucking headache for me. <sighs> Feelings. Somebody's feelings is cursed. Because it says it feeling cursed. Like somebody's going to be feeling cursed. Roaching, roaching ass energy. Nasty, grimy, filthy. Runs from the light. Hard to let go. Get rid of. Live off. Live off others. This person is a leech. That's what this is. Too. It's the same thing. Like a leech. This person like. This is the type of person that just like to go and use people and do people any kind of way and try to take their money, try to take whatever it is that they can get. Now, I'm feeling, picking up a smooth operator person too, like they smooth about it. They they kind of like wear a false face, and some of some of the some of them are just like just they show just how they are. And, and I, I I don't know if my collective pull it with that, so I'm feeling like most of the people is like wearing masks, but people's masks are falling off, like I said. Nasty, uh, roaching ass energy. Mm -hmm -hmm. Get fucking get the raid collective, get raid and start spraying that shit. Okay, go ahead and go ahead and get some raid. I think they got some on sale at the freaking Wally World. Go get you some, go ahead and get you some raid and get ready to spray this bitch the fuck up out this reading. Okay, they're low on fuel. See, I feel like a lot of y'all in separation or something. You done left this person behind. They low on your energy, they need your energy. Because it's on E right now. This person's losing their fucking mind. Love potion. So they may be getting somebody to cast a spell or do some kind of spell shit. Or they may be trying to do it themselves. You know, so they can bring you. Bring, it's like a comeback. Bring comeback for some of y'all. And this ain't for everybody. And these are different scenarios. I, you know, it is. So... Pick whatever familiar to you. Two of them fell on three fell on four. Somebody here has got somebody crying over them. Like they can't believe it. See it crying over you. Oh my God. So somebody here got somebody that's crying over them. Oh, property damage and vandalism. So somebody may be so upset that they're going to try to mess with your car, any type of property, your house, your car, anything that belongs to you. Somebody get ready to go to jail. Oh, just was getting ready to say jail time. Somebody going to jail for this. Somebody get ready to go to jail for fucking with somebody's shit. You mean to tell me people are... <sighs> Reverse. What, you, what we do to others comes back to us. Didn't I just say that? What we do to others come back to us. That's what's going to happen to whoever this is. Talking about damaging somebody's property. Man, people got it bad out here. I'm telling you, y'all better get ready. If you've left these type of people, it's time to keep it. Close your door. Seal it. Like I said, a lot of you are protected. This person is like going to show you who they truly are. Whoever this is, they're going to show you who they truly are, especially them smooth operators, the ones that was wearing masks. Their mask is falling off. This is your winning season. If you stay from around here, you don't want to catch this person's karma. This person get ready to go to uh, have terrible karma. Now, they're either going to be having jail time spiritually where they ain't going to be able to touch you, move nowhere, do nothing. Because the shit is reversing. It's going back to them. It's showing you right here. Love potion. They're going to try some kind of spell work. Something like this. I know it's hard to, 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 to fathom this. And most of the people. Or most of the time. Spell work is not people getting candles. And going and, and, and doing all this heebie jeebie stuff. In the dark and under the moon. And all that. Some do. But not all of them. Most of them. Some of them will go to practitioners. And that means the practitioner going to be in trouble too. If somebody's dealing with doing this to somebody. Especially a chosen one. This energy I'm picking up here lately is for the chosen one and the star seeds, the ones who have that heart like a child. I don't know if y'all ever listen to Earth, Wind, and Fire says that's the way of the world. 
plant your flowers and you grow a pearl. It, it said, I don't know if this is the one that says about, you know, keep your heart like a child. Somebody here is fake woke or act like they woke and they really not because they don't go by none of that stuff that they like to uh, listen to or tell you about. It's like total opposite. Like, I feel like for some of y'all, when you get around this person or, you know, if you're still with them or if you see them, don't they give you like an eerie feeling? I'm hearing like they give you an eerie feeling like, like with their mask, like it's, you know, when somebody wears a mask, they can't wear it all the time. You don't understand what I'm saying? They can't wear it all the time. It like they start getting agitated. You know what I mean? They start getting agitated. They do little stuff, talk up under their breath and things like that. Like they don't come out and say it, but they get that's agitation. You're agitating their demons because they can't wear this mask all the time. They don't, that's why they for some of y'all, that's why they wanted to control this relationship because they they ain't have control of themselves. So when they felt like that they was going to be okay or something like that. Then they want to, you know, you know, mingle and talk and all that kind of stuff and see each other and all that. But it, it ain't, it won't, it won't be too long. That's why this person be like making you feel uncomfortable if you're around them here. And that some of y'all, they make you feel uncomfortable being around them and acting weird and shit like that. And believe me, I know I've, I've been through that. And, and and um that's because they know they they know that mask is gonna fall and they're gonna have to show you who they truly are but some of y'all got a glimpse of this motherfucker some of y'all got a glimpse and seen it some of y'all been picking up on little teeny things like little stuff that they do like some of y'all been picking up on little be like what the hell is the hell they doing why are they acting like picking fights with you so you can you know do you know leave or or something and then you don't hear from them because they got to, like, wait for you to be thinking that if time go by, they're going to wait for you, like, you're going to be okay and just start this shit back up again without having to talk about anything, about what, how fucked up they acted. You don't have to talk, so they don't, they don't talk to you for a while. Oh, man, man, the messages, wow. See, I just said that. They ghost you. This is what this person does. They ghost it because they don't want to... They don't want to hear nothing, and, you know, and then they get mad. They don't, they get mad. I told you they get mad and then back to obsession again. Like, okay, I'm over it. You over it. They don't want to talk about shit. I'm over you. Let's just keep moving. Let's keep this thing going. Long as we don't talk about nothing. No, you see, this is how this person really is. They really be getting angry, especially if you call. I heard some of y'all call them out on their shit. And, you know, your crown is still intact. You're still moving on. You're still doing what you need to do, regardless of what this person do. Collective, look, earth angels, my sweethearts, don't worry about none of this. Got to know what's going on, though. I mean, y'all know something going on. But don't worry about it. They're going to ghost you and get angry and upset over because they ghosted you? Or some of y'all, y'all ghosted this person and they mad now. And, and it, that madness is turning to obsession. And you still sit up here like, this is like, you ain't even fucking worried about it. It's not phasing you none. You still got your crown on, it's straight. You know what's up. Wow. <laughs> people, people, people. If I can get it together, anybody can get it together, okay? No matter what it is. I've seen a court case. It's something about court cases. It's been going around a lot. I've been hearing that court case a lot. Somebody got a court case. They may need you uh, collective. You done ruined their uh, game. Collective, some of y'all out there, you done ruined this person's game. I don't feel like this person really even loved it. They don't even love their self, so how could they love anybody? So there was really not no love there. Y'all knew it. Y'all felt it. There wasn't no type of love. They were just yapping their lips. Yap, yap, yap. So they can make things go their way. Use your kindness for your weakness and stuff. So they tr that's all it was. This guy liked to play games or girl liked to play games. That's all they do just to get what they want. That's what they do. Yeah, I knew I, I knew that was coming out. Didn't I just say that, y'all? A court case. Somebody going to get something about a court case. Somebody going to take somebody to court.
Somebody's addicted. Somebody's addicted to toxic toxicity. They, this person might have got involved with somebody who is very, very toxic, just like they are. They might be taking this person to court or something. Maybe they got a child all together. Maybe they're pregnant. I don't know what the hell's going on here. But they're addicted to being toxic. They're addicted to it. I'm telling you. That's why they do this thing. Like I tell you, this uh, uh, mind games, playing mind games all the time. person like to play play like a kid like somebody is like in high school or something this this person mind might this person mind may have not de developed fully due to some family shit maybe they grew up in a very toxic family household and shit and it really fucked this person up so they're addicted to being toxic and acting toxic and this stuff that they do they're used to it. It comes normal. That's why y'all got to get away. Yeah, it's the devil. They're addicted to toxicity and being a devil. Like, there's somebody here that they could be addicted to or something or obsessed with or something like that. That they got to go to court for or something. I'm going to look into that. You know, cold-hearted. I told y'all that in the beginning. This person's cold-hearted. Like, they don't give a fuck. Their, their, their heart is on ice. It's frozen. Ain't nothing you can do with this person. Nothing. There's nothing you can do. If they're blocked, access denied. Spirit is, I'm telling you, look, they get ready to get God's wrath. I don't know what else to say. This person get ready to get it. All right? The most high's wrath is coming down on this person because this is just too much. They got to break them out of this shit some kind of way. And I feel like I told y'all for some of you, not all of you, you're going to hear about this person's child passing away. Because the most high is mad and very angry at this person because they've been trying to get them to, um, to uh, straighten up for a while here. See, been trying to get them to straighten up. So they blocked. The Most High blocked them from you guys, okay? So don't be going, you know, swinging around the corner and feeling sorry for this person. Like, just don't even, just ignore them. Don't talk to them, don't nothing. I'm going to tell y'all another thing, don't do. Especially when you're in a situation like this, don't start going and listen to that love music. Keep that totally out until you healed yourself. Don't even listen to nothing because music does trigger you. In some kind of way, it brings back memories and all kind of stuff. That's what music does. So... If you guys are going through a breakup, you know, healing and all that, do not listen to no doggone love music. Me, myself, I don't care for it. I don't like all that, that kind of stuff. Not that I'm not a loving person. I definitely am. I definitely got a big heart and I definitely love people, but not in that kind of way. Not that kind of way to where I'm going to sit up there and like put myself in some kind of delusion. Like, oh yeah, you pay my rent. I'll pay and I'll drink your coffee too. And I'll catch your bath water knowing damn well that shit don't happen in no real life. Maybe some people do a little bit of that stuff, but they ain't going to do goddamn it all of it. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it a buck. I, I, I ain't getting it. I don't like that kind of music. <laughs> I, I just don't. So that's just a, a little tip for you. As you healing, don't go out there listening to none of that uh, love music shit. Listen to the healing music. Um, listen to a lot of uh, reggae, reggae, um, and I'll put that one that I'm playing now in the in the um, comment section so you can go and check that out. That's some good music too. And I also suggest that you listen to some Beethoven. That's some good shit. Beethoven give me like energy and. It make me feel like I want to do something, like tackle the world and stuff. Like, it's really good to listen to some Beethoven, okay? Uh, there's somebody snooping through their phone, like their car. It says Karmic snooping through their phone. What they looking for? What the hell the Karmic looking for? Somebody's a manipulator. I told you. There's a lot of manipulation going on here with you and somebody else. Like, they got their self in a mess with some of y'all with a karmic. This karmic, may, may, uh, something may have happened between them two, and 
it's something that they have to go to court. Somebody could have got a restraining order on somebody or something like that, I'm hearing. Now I'm going to pick this one up because I feel like slow and steady wins the race. So, my chosen ones, just take your time. Keep focused. Keep yourself focused. You know, you're going to make it. You're going to make it. You know, slow and steady. Okay, now we're going to use the Kipperish deck. Because you guys are going to get a real nice guy. He's coming. Slow and steady. Believe me, it's coming. Okay? This guy got a heart. He, he wears his heart on his sleeve. Okay? Occupation. You may meet this person at your job for some of you. You might meet him at your job. He may be a doctor, okay? He may be 34 years old or 43. Or 61 for the ones that's maybe a little older, a little bit more mature. This guy might be more mature. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm picking up, you may meet this person at your job, at some kind of job. Or you be in this occupation, and this picture is depicted of a um, um, of a doctor. You may meet somebody at, uh, what they call, um, as you're getting a checkup or something like that, you may meet this person. might meet the love of your life at the freaking doctors. I hope it's not the gynecologist. I hope it ain't. It's like, oh, damn. I, oh, damn. I done seen your, I seen what your stuff look like already. Golly, I want to save it for later. <laughs> now I see it all. Or that may be the attraction. I don't know. Is that, am I saying all right, gynecologist? Or BYOB? BYOB is real. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hmm. Here's the voodoo. There we go with that shit again. I'm so sick of hearing about this shit. It ain't even funny. But it's out here. We in a spiritual warfare. Soulmate. So I'm picking up here like when you meet this person collective. I'm going to meet this person. Now this could be a male or a female. Remember doing general reading. There's no gender. Um... And now this person going to try to do, you know, work their magic or whatever. They're going to work their magic, but, you know, they don't work on soulmates. Once somebody gets their soulmate, ain't nothing, a thing in this world that nobody can do about it. And I, just, I think people are really crazy to go this far to do these type of things because they don't heal themselves and they want to blame everything on everybody else. Like everybody, like somebody hurt them because you left them. Well, hell, they ghosted you so many damn times. What the hell? What are they getting mad because you're doing it for? I don't think y'all doing it on purpose. I'm just thinking that y'all fed the fuck up with this whoever the hell this is. Yeah, a relationship is here. Mm-hmm. You get y'all, hey, it's coming. Y'all better hold on and hold on. But this person, y'all got something beautiful coming in here. And I feel like this person know it too. And they nice. They just who you, somebody you would want to be with. Not all this stressful bullshit here that you've been going through, collective, star seeds, earth angels. You ain't, but you ain't want this. You don't need this in your life. That no. Time too short for the bullshit. And they're going to fuck around and find out. I got, I'm going to have these shirts. I'm going to put it, tag it in the community and in my description where if you want to get one. They come in white and black and or, uh, or with white letters and black, okay, in different sizes. So I'll put it out there if you want one. Everybody that's, you know, moving on and, and crossing over and, do, you know, get ready to get this beautiful thing going on in your life, leaving behind the toxic shit that don't no longer serve you, I think that all y'all should be getting one of these. Fuck around and find out. I'll leave the link. Don't forget What's going on? 
Let's see. Gift. Oh, uh, somebody might give you a ring. This person might give y'all a ring collective. They're going to give you something. Or this for some of y'all, this just might be a gift from the most high for y'all moving on. You know what I mean? All you had to do was drop something. And now everything is get ready to come in for you. Like, you, all you had to do was drop this toxic person. You just had to get that toxicity out of your life. Now you can see about your focus. You know what you want. But this person don't know what they want. That's why, and you know, they all over the place. First they want you, then they don't. Then you leave, they leave you and then they come back and then they leave you and then they come back and like they expect you to keep going through that type of, what kind of relationship is that? Is this person a little psycho or something? Something's picking up here like somebody got some mind, mental issues and they need to consult. Hey, when y'all get this doctor or whatever coming, you're like, take, give them, give them your friend's number. Some of y'all might uh, hook up with some kind of uh, doctor or physician or some kind of a... Uh, um, somebody who does counseling for people, like I said, nut job action. Give them, y'all get them, give them y'all ex friend number so they can contact them and help them get their mind right. That's all I can say. <laughs> you learn self love. Wow, that's beautiful, collective. Beautiful. You got self love. You're a healer. Now that you learn self-love, you can get out here and help people heal. Like I said, some of y'all tarot card readers or just, you know, spiritualists or something like that where you help other people and build them up. Some of y'all got platforms. Remember we heard, heard that earlier? So now that you're healed, you're able to heal other people. You become a healer as you heal yourself. And that's, I'm telling you, that is the hardest thing to do is to heal yourself, but you can do it. Take it from me. And other people, other people that you listen to on YouTube, take it, you know, they tell you, if they do, you know, tell you some things about themselves, most of them do if they really down the earth. And, you know, they don't, they ain't, none of us is no better than, than anybody. We humans, we go through human things just like anybody else. It's just we, um, we're built to, to take more crap than most people. That's all. We go through the most. We were born to do it. We go through the most and we're like walking um karma like people you know once because we we could go from light to dark you're supposed to use both of those energies because they're both there you don't look at the dark and say fuck that i don't want nothing to do with that and all that and i'm gonna stay here in, in the freaking light how's that gonna help your life when some shit come up that you need to defend yourself you're gonna have to jump to the dark side and be like well you know not like you intentionally trying to hurt anybody no you just for protection the light is for protection. The dark is for, for your protection. Just depends on how you use it. Some people use the dark, and that's all the fuck they do. Is do dark shit, evil shit all damn day long. And there's some people in the light, and they just too all fucked up in the head, in the clouds all the damn time. Oh, love and light, and oh, everything gonna be like, oh, forget the dark, we ain't gonna touch that. No, you need both of those entities if you're gonna make it in this world. You need both entities. You just have to learn how to use them. You just don't freelance and go out there and just be like, you want some dark shit and just fuck with anybody anytime you want to. That's that, uh, uh -uh, you can't do that. You got to balance that shit out. Okay. See, achievement. Like, I, I swear, I think some of y'all are readers or something, or some of y'all got a platform or you got your own business where you're helping people. Yep, and you're doing good at it. You're doing really good at this healing or being a healer because you, why you healing healed yourself. Karma. Some of y'all get some good karma for this. Yep. Achievement and karma. So that's good karma to me. Because the sun is out. Like, yeah, this is good karma for you guys collective. You having some good karma here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Getting the love of your life, soulmate. And don't get it wrong. I want to take nobody on a fantasy trip and all that about you know soulmates and twin flames and all that it's like you're gonna have some shit okay and that's where anybody you with it's just gonna be not it's not gonna be stressful it, you know you ain't gonna get nobody just gonna shut down on you because they get mad or don't know how to talk or don't know what to say or got busted or something like that no this person gonna stand up and talk like if something happened babe what's what's the matter I notice you, you know, you don't seem to be, you ain't speaking to me, you shut the car door real hard, um, you put some, uh, oranges in my, my, in my, um, coffee, that's not like you, honey, what's, what's up, 
what's going on, babe? Let's talk about it. Like that. Not go out close, shut the door, and go to the bar and pick up hoes and bitches and shit and don't show up to the next week. No. No, it ain't like that. But you are going to have some things, yes. But it ain't going to be nothing that, that can't be uh, healed or fixed with this person. Because it's your soulmate. Long together. Okay, I hope that made sense. Twin flame. Now, we had soulmates and twin flame. Like, you got the best of two worlds, collective. Collective. You got the best of two worlds here. You got you got it going on here. Like, wow. Wow. Some oh, okay. I just heard this. Some of you, this is your this is a past life partner. Like, this is somebody, like, you're gonna meet them and you're gonna be like instantly like who? I feel like I know your ass, and they're gonna be looking at you like I feel like I know your ass too. It's gonna be like an instant attraction for somebody here. Some of y'all, this is you, you don't, but a lot of you, this is like with the soul, look, with the soulmate and twin flame card coming to a reading together, that's a past life connection. Y'all already been together in another life, and you come here to complete, to complete it. The, the, the energy was just waiting in, in uh, ethers for you to get rid of this other person. Because that was a, a false twin. Whoever you've been dealing with this crazy ass person, false twin. It was false. They were faking the funk. They were going to fake it till they make it, collective. That's what they was going to do. Uh oh, let me put my battery on. I ain't always talking that much. Hold on, y'all. I got to put my battery on. Let me get it right here. I mean, my charger. Where is the charger? Here we go. No problem. Wait a minute. Wait. Hold on, be right back. Oh. I just charged this thing up all night long. What the heck's going on here? My dad put all kind of uh, electrical stuff in here. So I can plug up stuff anywhere. Let's see. Sorry, y'all. Okay. All right, let's keep it going. somebody to, uh, from a past life connection here. It's going to be like instant. Y'all might even get married like soon after. It's just going to seem right to y'all. Some of y'all be like, uh -uh, I ain't getting married to nobody. I just met. Yeah, okay, we'll see. Come back and tell me in the comment section. Come back and tell me. You all, Look, I say y'all, but you're going to know. I told y'all, High Priest is here. Hey, y'all. I told y'all. You're going to know already. The high priestess knows. Like, your intuition going to tell you this person. I know this person. I know. I, I, I've i been with this person before. And, like, yeah, the, 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 the connection is so freaking... It's real. Like, you're going to know this is real. You're going to feel that shit, y'all. Collective. Somebody else gonna be like, oh, what the hell's taking this person so long to come back into me? That's gonna be the ex, like the one that's crazy a little bit, like the one that's like psycho. They're gonna look, they the clock is up there and they're like, they get nervous. Look at their eyes. This person y'all deal with might smoke a lot or something. I don't know why I'd be picking up. It's been on quite a few of my videos where somebody smokes a lot or something or drinks a lot. Look how red their eyes is. Look, they crunching on their the, their fingernails. Somebody's worried about this shit. When this happens, Collective, somebody gonna be pretty much worried about this. 
as I said where I left off at because my phone cut off on me because I didn't have the charger on there. Then when I went for the charger on there, it said you need to have the right charger on here. It's a, a note something, Samsung note, some another 24, something. And they said now you gotta have the right charger on there, the one that came with the phone in order to turn the bitch back on. So I was like, okay, let me get the charger for that. And now here we are. Now, where we left off at is that somebody is concerned. I think I already done mentioned it. If I didn't already, y'all didn't catch it on, on the other one. I'm going to put the two together. Um, yeah, this is a pretty long one here. <laughs> um, they're scared. This person's tripping out because just stupid, man. How is somebody going to sit back and wait for somebody to call to contact them? What are they scared about? They ain't saying nothing. They ain't doing nothing. So what are the heck they concerned for? What they over there getting high for? Maybe it's just the, whatever they messing with. I don't know. But those shit don't make no sense to me. Does it make sense to you, Collective? If so, put it in the comments. I want to hear y'all comments down there. Some of y'all, you know, during the personal readings, a lot of the same stuff done come up. So confirmation. Y'all wore me out, man. Y'all, ooh. But thank you. I appreciate it. <sighs> okay. All right. Let's go ahead on. Oh. Did y'all uh, look? Spirit team done took them a little break. Now they had to come back. Like, come on, girl. Like, we got other heavens and stuff. We got other clouds that we got to jump on top of to get people messages. So let's go. <laughs> All right, we got two. Okay, so somebody's your ex is concerned, or somebody you left, or somebody who freaking ghosted you. I don't know how the story went, but somebody ain't even talking. They ain't even talking, and they looking at you somehow. No, this person's watching you because they. Why would they be concerned? Why would they be concerned if they wasn't watching you? I'm sure ain't none. If y'all ain't talking, you didn't. You know, you didn't say, "Oh, guess what? I got somebody else," and you know, I'm talking for what? What would you talk to this person for? Y'all ain't talking. So somehow, or another, they done found out you done got somebody else right and now they scared as hell so we got the priestess the priest and the high priestess it's like this a couple right here it's like two people who are intuitive like too intuitive is is intuitive as hell This a this a high this is a spiritual connection. Like I'm trying to tell y'all, this is spiritual. When you get the high priest and the high priestess, and then you get what did I say, putting up here? Soulmate and twin flame together. Yeah, this is y'all. Y'all gonna be in for a surprise of the surprise of your life. When y'all get hooked it with this person, you ain't even gonna be thinking about who's ever thinking about you, you know, that they treat it so bad and everything, but scared now. Who, this person needs some help. Like I said, I hope it's some kind of therapist or something that y'all get with so you can give this therapist this person's uh, number. Get that, you know, a recommendation or something to help get their mind right because they, they, they gone. They're, they're, they're gone. It's some kind of narcissist. Like, everybody's like a lot of you um, healer, a lot of you um star seeds and stuff like that and earth angels y'all healing from um narcissism like y'all may be suffering P ptsd but uh, you all have healed already because it already showed it here you know you already healed from that and now i know that was rough i know it was but you did it you won you won you made it you did it now you're out here healing other people and now this other person is losing their damn mind okay they losing their mind they ain't right they can't get right now they're gonna try to send you a message now you best believe that shit now that you got you know you got it's like you got it all collective it's like you got it all and now this person wants to send you a message after you done got with somebody what they thought you were gonna do just spend the rest of your life sit back waiting on them or what the fuck is going on here i don't get it i don't understand I want y'all <laughs> intuitive Kev 
I swear to goodness, I love this deck, and a lot of people love it because a lot of people got this deck. You, 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 you got on to something here, uh, Intuitive Kev. If you watching my video, because I watch yours all the time, but you, um, you really did it on these card decks. I'm telling you, and I heard you say you're going to come up with a, uh, you got your uh, other deck that you come with. I'll make sure I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna be the first on the list as soon as I see it. I'm gonna get them because. Something about this, you did this, you did the thing on this, it drew them and everything. So you're very talented and highly intuitive, Kev. Thank you, thank you. But look at that person's eyes. Look. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hope y'all don't feel sorry. I don't feel sorry for this person because they put they, they did it to themselves and shit. Look at them two cards. Look. That's the karmic. That's the karmic. That's the one you left. Look at them. Played all this time like they ain't give a damn. <laughs> they like, what the heck is going on here? Well, where you been at all this time? You wasn't communicating with nobody. Uh, I, I need to have a talk. I need to have a talk with this person, whoever they is. I will tell. I will get them straight. Like I will. I will. If y'all need me to, you know, do, you know, uh, talk to your person or something. If they buy, uh, give them my number. Give them my number because I'll damn sure talk to them. I ain't scared. I, and I'm gonna tell them just like it is. Or she. It don't matter. He. She. Yeah. I, I simply tough love is gonna do it. You better believe that. All right, all right, all right. Oh, distant future. Here's the distant future card. So, yeah, this person ain't gonna move on. Like, this abusive person. This person who took you through a lot here. Um... Oh, wow, I just heard it. Thank you, Spirit. Like, this person may, uh, for some of you, it's not for everybody, but for some, very few, I'm feeling like this person is going to, like, what do I have to live for? After they see that you really moved on here, because I feel like this person probably didn't think that you was going to ever move on because you've been through too many cycles with them. You gave them too many damn chances. So, you know, that's how, this is a narcissist. This is a sick narcissists that you've been going around in this circle with they needed some help and they definitely going to be pushed to get help or pushed to do something mm. i'm going to show you this card again look at that mm -mm -mm. This person could be 54, 36, 33. I'm starting to feel their energy like, ugh. House. Yeah, for some of you, this person might um, do something to their self and they have to go to or be forced to go to a uh, institution. They're going to the house of institutionalized. They're going to the house of hard not lives, okay? This person may need to get medication. Yeah, this is going to hurt this person really, really bad for some of you. I'm not saying all of you. Mm. Look at that. Entity attachment. This person, if they have something going on with, with drugs or something or alcohol, like something has got this person like hooked on something and it's keeping them in a low vibration. Very low. I wish, can I show you all, all these? very low this person is going to be suffering
something is 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 like or it could be childhood uh childhood um trauma attachments there's some kind of something attached to this person and they need help It says entity. Someone could be attached to a low, uh, like toxic energies, which we already seen in the reading. This person's got something, got something attached to them. Like they can't shake it. They can't seem to shake it. Because whatever it is, until they come out of de denial, until they come out of denial and face the facts, like they've been a problem in a lot of situations and things that they cause hurt and pain because they was in hurt and pain. It's okay. Like we all been hurt and in pain. Like the this person, like the world don't owe you nothing because you don't want to heal from it. Relationships, other people, where male or female, they don't owe you nothing. They don't have to pay for your pain. What make you think they got to pay for your pain? Because they don't. It don't never work. Somebody could be 49 years old. Yeah, evil eye. Look at this shit. Person could... Mm. I don't know why I'm hearing 58. This card is 85, but I'm hearing 58. But, um, yeah, this person is giving you the evil eye. They're worn out. They're drained with this entity attached to them. Now that they can't do nothing, okay? Now they stuck in some kind of mental house or get some kind of, or need some kind of help. Now they now they want to send the evil eye. Or somebody just ain't even doing nothing. Like they too old for this shit, okay? You, you moving on, you're in your north node. Now this is south node here. South node is where you don't need to be. So this person ain't showing me nothing about no north node. Unless they trying to, like I said, fake it till they make it. Some people try to fake it. Like I said, some people come on to collect the readings and they are fucking, they the ones that's in the background. Like they the ones that's causing all the problems and have all the problems. But they so in denial, they come on to collective and act like it's them. Like, oh shoot, I ain't doing nothing. Like, you know, don't want to face what they doing or what they have done. So they'll just go in the collective reading. But I can pick it out. I can feel it. I can feel the energy. They, they come in here all the time and other people's uh, platforms and act like they total collective, like they like they are a um, a earth angel. This is somebody who's in denial and they faking. They faking it. They faking it. So these this is you guys. When it, come, it came up as the North Node and, and you're on your right path, Spirit wants you to know. You're on the right path. Don't feel sorry for this person because if you feel sorry for this person, go back to them. You're going to regret that. You're going to head right on back to your south node. And we don't want to be there. You done healed from that already. That's like taking a, a fall bag. Don't do that. Don't do that, collective. Somebody going to jail. That done came up twice already in this week. Two or three times. Somebody going to prison. Or somebody just trapped or blocked. Like they can't get to you no more. You know, this could be a spiritual block or trap, or this could be a physical one. Imprisonment, or you know what I'm saying? This person is like dark, dark. Look at the darkness around them. Look. And, and look at their eyes. These eyes be cracking me up. I swear. I be looking at their eyes. I be like, oh my God. Is this tells you the reading right then and there about a person just looking at their eyes the expressions on their faces <sighs> here we go with the ice king okay somebody who's very smart and intelligent on the up and up like this is somebody who, who knows how to win at the game called life they know how to win this person plays to win the ice king uh, but they could be a little detached from their emotions or just seem like it, okay? But they're very smart. They move on their intellect and not know emotion. As far as making decisions-wise or thinking or to work out problems, this king here, or it could be a queen too, they use, their, they use their logic. They don't run off their emotions to make decisions. They be smart about shit. They're like, uh-uh, if I use my emotions, I ain't going to make the right decisions. 
and that's what a lot of you have done since you healed yourself collective i'm so proud of i'm so proud of you stay on your journey something good coming out of this don't this ain't the time to feel sorry for nobody time to get out of your emotions and and, and use your logic here that's what's going to that's the key to, to get it that's the key to get going divine fan you divine fin. You the shit. You ain't got nothing to worry about, divine fin. You ain't got nothing to worry about. You got it together. You're divine. You're chosen by the most high. You know what you've been through. You know what you've been going through with this particular person. Not only just this person, I'm here for some of you. This has been like an ongoing thing. Maybe y'all had to heal a lot of stuff from your childhood childhood trauma. Wondering why you kept getting in, you know, messed up relationships. Getting a hold of, um, of uh, narcissistic energy all the time. For a lot of you, it's because you were born for that. It was like you were, like I said, walking karma. You were placed here to... to and placed in people's lives even though it was going to be hard but you can handle it a lot of people can't handle what you've been through star seeds earth angels they can't do they wouldn't be able to do what you do that's why it seemed like all your life has been like everybody coming at you you know you knew how to fight that war it was hard and yeah you had to sacrifice but you have done it or else you wouldn't be here divine femme or divine masculine that's why you're here. You won. The battle is over is what I'm hearing. It's over. You ain't got to, don't, don't, just relax. And woosa, woosa. And take all that energy, all that what you, you've been through and, 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 and breathe it out into the universe to other people and help them to heal. Because they couldn't have done it like you've done it. All right. Somebody could be 38 here. See, you there's a you're gonna reap your harvest from helping others. Like what you've done in the past, all the people that you helped and done, and they ain't do a fucking thing for you. You about to reap your harvest for that. So don't worry about none of that stuff. Everything was calculated as you was going through all of this. You know, the spiritual. Um, cashier was cashing in on your stuff the spiritual um bank was banking for you it was doing they were doing it spiritually and then unleashing it to you once everything was done and over releasing it to you and to the universe as physical so you got physical bank and you got spiritual bank okay you're gonna be set on both worlds single sexy and successful for some of y'all some of you are you know are, are single some of you either already has somebody else that they're coming to your life and even for the ones that are single and you you know you could be still healing and stuff you could be still working or something like that and 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 doing everything but um and dealing with the the, res the residence, the residue or something like that of this other person here still bu bugging you. The nerve of people today. Okay. Real love, yeah, y'all get real love. I'm looking for a real love. Someone to take my heart, be real love. I don't know what the words is that shit. I just know real love. I can't stand that song either. I don't like no Mary J bullshit either. All them ones that keep, you know, I, I, you know, but I'm just singing the song because that's what the car says, real love. Real love, I'm searching for a real love. Hey, Mary J. Blige, like 99 years old, she's searching for real love, really? <laughs> I'm just kidding. She all right. I just can't stand, like, people getting too much into emotions and stuff. Like, I don't know, maybe because I'm an Aquarius, I don't know. 
that's what a lot of people say about Aquarius is like we cold and all that stuff and all, you know, hey, but we do, that may be true because of the planets, Uranus and, and, and Saturn, you know, we govern by both of those planets and both of those planets are cold planets. You know, they really are cold. Ain't no warmth or nothing in that bitch. Okay, so, um, but we do got good hearts though. That's the thing about it. We do have a good heart. All right. What else can we give the collective? You guys keep on doing what you're doing. You're headed in the right direction. Don't worry about this other person. For a few of you, as I said, I feel like this person, like for some of you, for some, you're gonna hear that he lost a child of his. Definitely under the next full moon. Definitely. So get ready for that. Maybe that'll straighten this person out. This, you know, spirits try to use heavy measures for this person because there is something about they ain't getting it. I feel like his, uh, whoever he, she. Um, uh, he came from a very he or she came from a very toxic family very toxic to the point where they used to it but this person was it was was like a uh, this person was like a star seed too like <clears throat> but he, they this person reared off into some kind because they were supposed to you know help their uh re their their continuing family on to a different uh higher vibration kind of path but something happened with this person reared off. And once they reared off, that was it. That was it. It's like, they don't even know how to come back. They done got so lost. This person is very, I'm not, they no dummy. They very smart, very intelligent, but they just made the wrong choices. They used that energy for the, like I said, the dark side. This person went all the way to the dark side and there was no light whatsoever. That's what they operated off of. And I done told y'all, you gotta be friends with the, the light and the dark. They call God and the devil. You gotta be friends with both of them for anything to work out for you. Cause you need both of them to balance everything out. And that's just not, that's just the truth. I don't know what people been teaching you and all that stuff. I don't see it getting nobody no damn where. Well, I know I don't figured it out. I could tell y'all some stuff you wouldn't believe, but oh well, I'm still here. It ain't nobody. I don't care who you are watching my channel. I don't like the words that are coming out of my mouth. You're going to have to speak to my angel gods and my spirit gods and my ascended master. They some powerful motherfuckers and they don't play about me. They don't play about me. And if you don't believe that, try it. Try coming to tough love with that bullshit and see how that you're going to fuck around and find out. And that's just the truth. I don't threaten people. I don't wish no bad on people. I mind my own damn business and I do my own fucking thing without having to do all of that. Some people don't know how to be like that. Some people are jealous of people that are like that. Some people are envious of people that are like that when all you have to do is do the same damn thing. But I wish a bitch would. And I'm fully warning right now. Wish a bitch would. I really do. Don't be mad at me. Angry at me. Throwing shit at me. Don't, I swear to God, don't do it. It'll be the last thing that you'll ever do to anybody else. If you're allowed to live fucking with tough love. That's all I got to say. And that's a promise to somebody out there. Okay, let's see. Earth, here we go. Earth Angel. Earth Angel. Earth Angel. You are a light worker who has come to Earth to teach about love. That's us, Earth Angels. That's who the hell we are. And we are highly, highly protected. A lot of people don't know about us until they get involved with us. You know what I'm saying? Especially, we ain't supposed to have no romance shit. Not right now. Not until our mission is up. And I'm telling you, a lot of you Earth Angels, your mission is completed. It's time for you to go. 
it's time for you to reap your reward for everybody that you done helped in this universe. And those who done you wrong will get, it's going to be consequences behind that. That's what's happening right now. You know, they don't know it because they ain't paying attention. They don't believe. I was talking about this shit like, a couple years ago or even throughout my whole videos. I got almost 2,000 videos on this bitch talking about this whole situation. Get, trying to get people prepared. And now it's here. Now it's here. Uh, this is a tough love. She's a, she don't know what she's talking about. She thinks she's spiritual. She thinks she did. She thinks she that. I am, damn it. I am. <laughs> Ain't no thinking about it. I am. I'm not bragging either. I'm telling you what I am. Some people can't figure that shit out. They don't know who the, who the fuck is she. How, how the hell does she keep coming up trying to do shit to you? And you pop up right, hey, hey. Hey, ain't going nowhere. My finances ain't going nowhere. The shit that I got ain't going nowhere. We, 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 we chill. We still on the right track. So try harder is all I can say. Try harder. And the more harder shit is going to come down on you. Just go ahead and do it. Give me some entertainment. I'm going to make some popcorn again tonight. And entertain me with that shit. Because I can see it. That's who I am. I can see it. I don't say nothing about it most of the time, but I can see it. I know my mission. I know what I'm here for. You can't touch this. Doom, 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 doom. Can't touch this. Doom, 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 doom. Can't touch this. Go play with somebody else. Okay. All right. So we got books. Okay. Again, books. Like you're teaching. You're gonna be teaching people. You're going to teach people what you know, what you've been through and stuff, and you're going to help them to excel, help them to grow, bringing love into the world. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's the only thing that da 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 pa da 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 <laughs> Like, you know what? This is something that happened to me, too. Like... I know we've been through a lot, Earth Angels, Star Seeds, Stardust. I know we've been through a lot. And I know we didn't understand for a while what was going on. But once, you know, Spirit revealed everything to us through our ancestors, our spirit guides, as life go on, and the people that, you know, were really close to, like my father, just, you know, once he left, it's just like I was a whole something different. It's like whatever he... Saul, he had to give it to me. So, people never die. They just are energy. And they can get to go wherever they want to go. It, But it depends on their state of mind, too. You know, where, you know, about what, what levels are they going to. My dad went straight on up there. To a high anarchy. Where he calls the shots, just like he did here on Earth with his life, with no ego, no pride. He just did the damn thing. He's a natural leader. And he's taking that energy and he's giving it to me. And ain't no stopping me now. I'm on the move. I ain't scared of nothing or nobody. You can't intimidate me. You can't use black magic on me. You can't do none of that shit. Because if you do, what can I say? All I'm going to do is, you think you're watching me, I'm going to be watching you. And it ain't going to be a happy thing. I ain't going to nothing to be happy about. But I, you know, I warned you already of who I am. Because you don't know who I am. You don't know who the earth angels are until some shit happens. Then that's when you know. And I hope you know now. And I hope you know what direction to take. If not, you might run into another one. But I doubt if you get that privilege because you're going to be too fucked up over what you have done to an earth angel already. Okay? I, I, I don't know who the hell that's for. Somebody the fuck out there. <sighs> for somebody. Okay, do y'all want to do something else? Y'all want to... Um, we'll do a, uh, maybe some tarot? 
Did I do any tarot? I didn't do no tarot. Let's do a tarot, then I'll let y'all go. How about that? Cause I, you know, I ain't. I know I ain't on here every day and all that. You know, I'm not trying to um, <laughs> make a bunch of money and all. I'm good. I'm good. I don't need. I'm, I'm here to help. I gotta finish my mission. I gotta move to my next. Uh, my next thing. Okay. Okay. So, I do this cause I like to do it. I ain't looking for nothing. I ain't looking for a damn thing. I ain't looking for nobody's approval. I don't care who say what about what. And Earth Angels now, that's the feeling that you got. Yeah, I know you do. If I got this feeling, I know you got it too. It's like, fuck it all. Give, I don't give a fuck. I was so nice and kind and timid and, and all that kind of stuff. Soon we broke out of all that stuff now, it's a different story. Like, people gonna be looking at a different person. Like, they ain't gonna know who the fuck you are. And they even if they know who you are, they don't know who you are. Because the things that they try to do behind your back just didn't, wasn't worth it. Didn't even work. Didn't even work. Because they didn't know who you are. They underestimated you. They underestimated you. They know you were a good person. They know you cared because of all what you tolerated, Earth Angel, but it's okay. You get your reward anyway. Okay, spirit guide. <laughs> Ancestor. Can you give me some messages in the tarot, please? Thank you. Hi, Dad. I love you. And I thank you. Okay. Ain't nothing coming out. What's up? I ain't used this deck in a while. And I can't shuffle it the way I want to with my hand because it's so big. And I forget the name of these cards. Star something. Okay. The strength card. Some of you may be dealing with a Leo. Now, so, like I said, a lot of you got your courage. You get your courage back. You got your mojo back. And look at your ancestors or spirit guys. It's like backing you up. Like they got your back, y'all. They got your back. Okay, got two here. So we got the chariot and the ace of cups. Like I said, you guys are moving forward. With the quickness, not even looking back, learning your lesson, it's like, yes. Some of you dealing with cancer, and some of you are dealing with cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So there's a lot of water energy here. Like, you guys opened up your heart. Like, your heart chakra is on point. Like, well, it's already been that way. That's how come people was, like, misunderstood. Like, like they felt like they you're the type that they can just run over top of, do any kind of way, use, abuse you, and all that, because you was this earth angel the whole while. Whether your parents told you or not, you was born for this. And, and uh, you know, I'm like that too. And I look back at it like, you know, when I'm like meditation or if I'm just sitting there, just like with, you know, nothing, nothing running, no TV, no phone, no nothing. I just sit there and I listen to all the communication, be a lot of communication coming into me. I don't have no kind of distractions or nothing like that. I mind my business, I pay my bills and I do what I got to do and I do what I want to do when I want to do it. I don't have no children, don't want none, can't at this time. So I really never wanted none. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm free as free can be in this world today to, compared to a lot of things. I have no, no, nothing, it, just free. And like I said, I sit back and I um, observe, I go over my life like a, um, like a movie and I break down every, every piece of thing that happened like, okay, and I go all the way back as far as I can remember or as far as what memories are stored in my mind. I go all the way back and once I go all the way back, I just take one at a time, one situation at a time and I write it down and I'll be like, well, okay, 
and knowing I can see clearly why this situation happened or see clearly why, you know, why that has happened. Uh, and it helped to awake the inner, <clears throat> excuse me, it helped me to wake the, um, to heal the inner child. That's how you heal, you heal your inner child. You have to go back. And you have to understand, once you go back, you'll understand that a lot of it wasn't your fault. It was your parents, for sure. But they the ones that raised you. You know, and 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 there was some healing they may have to, had to do when they never did because they had what children to take care of. They weren't thinking about no oh sitting down telling you you were herb angel and shit. Some of them probably your parents ain't even like your ass, okay? So hey, how they gonna sit down and tell you herb angel or that you you can read people and you got a special gift? That shit wasn't of the norm for them. So you had to find this out your own way and through, you know, as you grew, like I said, the, the change is to go all the way back, take it one step at a time of your memory and, and write it down if you have to, journal it, whatever you have to do. And then like, that's how you heal. You, you, you understand why these things has happened. Yeah, all of y'all was born Earth uh, star seeds. Like, you know what I mean? A lot of that shit that happened to you ain't your fault at all. So you can release that and heal and move on. Yeah, four swords. I just said that. Four swords about re relaxing, releasing, healing, getting some rest. You can you can chill now. You know, you can chill now. Some of you are Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Yeah, take a load off, like chill. Now that you see it for what it is, and you know, even through some of the things that you did, you know, um, mine was like a lot of drinking and stuff like that, that I tried to use to heal and it, you know, it made my life even worse and I wasn't focusing on what I needed to focus on. I was doing dumb shit. You know what I mean? Like, and picking dumb people and all that. All the while I had this book was supposed to focus on why I was being treated this way. I had to find out myself. And I found out it wasn't my fault. But some of the things I did was my fault. <laughs> I ain't gonna just like, okay, everybody done everything to me, which the majority of it was, but I did some shit too. And it was because I didn't know who I was. Okay. And we got the hangman. Some of you dealing with the Pisces or it's a Pisces energy in here. It's like, yeah, I was just talking about that from my life experience. Like, you know, um, with the four swords in this hangman position, it's like now you see things like once you settle yourself down and star seeds and um, earth, uh, earth angels, you know, once you settle down, you'll have a new perspective. A lot of you are getting a new perspective of, of life now that you've uh, healed yourself in the healing position. Once you settle down with that four swords and rest your mind and your spirit and your body as well, you got a new pers Now you can see things at a new angle now. Like you're enlightened. The hangman here, see that light on their head? Like now you're enlightened. You see it now, like I was just talking about from my life. Sorry it's so long, but it is what it is. I don't know the next time I'm coming up, I'm not going to say when I am, but when spirit calls on me, I will. So, if you don't see me, I, pop, I, I can't. If I do it every day, that's what I was called to do. But I I, I can't, I, so far from what I feel like, I can't do this shit every freaking day. It's because it's the same old energy. I try to wait a few days and see the energy to clear it out. A little bit of it has, but not much. This world got a lot to grow and learn from. And that's for sure. We got the two of wands here. You know, twos are all about decisions. Like, 
some you know some of you still have a decision to make it's on the board here so and wands i told you are action cards it's time to make a decision it's time to take action on which road you want to go down here like you got the world at your feet if you heard the whole reading you got it you just got to walk that path now that's all and leave stuff that don't matter behind and that's just for sure you got the seven of wands here because you done been through it you don't you don't been through it. I just talked about that too, and so have I. We have been through the war that most people can't fight. We are able to fight these battles no matter what someone does to us. Cause we don't hurt nobody. We don't think like most people think. We don't we got a heart, we got that heart that was already put in there and, and already, you know, molded to, to, to be around these people and bring justice. That's what we've been in a lot of people's lives for justice, whether it was, you know, family, whether it was lovers, whether it was no matter what it was, each situation we got put into, it was to bring justice, not only to ourselves, but to, to others, justice, the truth and shit, the truth. Okay the magician he's got that sword of truth up in the air is that what that is yeah he got the sword he got all the elements okay and that's what you guys are this is um virgo gemini's energy um now like you know if people are working on a dark side the magician card is like somebody you know manipulating energies like because being a magician um, you, you, you know, uh, just the planet Mercury, which is closer to the most high. And that's, this is the messenger here. So they able to get to God and get the messages and bring them towards, uh, towards the, the world. Okay. So that's what you guys are. Like, it's like you can manifest a magician is a manifester too. They can manifest anything that they want. That's where you guys are right now. As soon as you make the choice, some of you already made the choice. Some of you are still stuck on which way I'm going to go here. Because, you know, like I said, you've been through a lot. You need some healing, like, or you healing from a lot of the stuff that you went through. A lot of y'all are just like war straight up warriors, man. You was built to do this stuff. You was built to survive through everything that you've been through. And manifest. This is a major arcana card here. Hope y'all got your popcorn and stuff ready, okay? I'm done after this one, I believe. Yeah, I'm done after this one. So you got the eight of wands here. Again, when we talk about fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, but you know, I told you wands are action-oriented cards. Every time you see a wand, every time you see a, a, a sword that's about the mental, okay, about how you think, what's going on up in your head. This is physical action here, where you're moving, where you're going and stuff. And then... The cups are about, you know, your emotions, what's going on in your heart. I told you we got good and bad. These cards are made up of good energy and bad energy. And like, you see how it moves around, how you have to mix it together in order for it to work. And you see how if it's all bad kind of energy, somebody's floating off in the, in the dark and using that as a uh, way of life. And you got some over here with all this light and stuff and they use that as their way of life. And, and it's like they can't handle the dark when it come around. Because they haven't went over there to explore it and learn how to use it. Anyway, yeah, eight of wands, like some, you go, there's some kind of communication or something, or like I said, some of y'all gonna be speakers or something like that, like um, <clears throat> within the world. <clears throat> I feel like that. I'm gonna be communicating to the world. Some of you are gonna be traveling. Some of y'all are gonna be moving. And then we got the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you moving on. Like, yeah. You got the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Wands. You know, the Eight of Wands is about actually taking action and moving forward, okay? You know, communication, distance, travel. And there you go with the Eight of Cups. That's about moving on as well. Is that Eight of Cups? 
It's just eight of cups. I ain't never seen a um, rainbow in that. But you you see how this person is moving from the, the, down here, like from whatever, like emotional damage or emotional stuff, and moving up to the to this rainbow part here. And then there's a dove there too that's like helping her. I forgot what doves are about. Maybe y'all can put that down in the section. I gotta look it up. But doves are some kind of meaning for something. I think it's transformation or just like moving towards something, uh, arising or something like transformation, something like that that doves are for. Cause they, they do that with funerals and stuff. Like they set off the dove, like the dove is carrying the soul to wherever it wants to go. Okay, so we got the page of, of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So you got some kind of good news coming in. Like, look at her. She got the star on her head. Like, yeah. There's some kind of good news of something coming forward. The Page of Swords. Remember what we talked about the swords is about your mental, you know, what's going on. Somebody's curious. Are you curious or is somebody around you curious? But somebody trying to find out some kind of information. Somebody could be watching you. You could be a star. Maybe you're moving on to be a star. Because we had the magician. This may be all your manifestations coming towards you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles. Like, somebody's going to be independently wealthy here because, you know, the pentacles are about what? Cash. What's in my pockets? What's kicking it? <laughs> so, um, so this is about, you know, being financially independent. So, yeah, a lot of y'all wishes and stuff is coming. Here's the four of wands. What I said about the wands is about action, moving, like actually physically moving, doing what you got to do, taking some kind of action. So with the four of wands, it's like, um, this is an Aries Sagittarius Leo. Wait a minute, I'm hearing something. Okay. Uh, y'all might be this. Okay. Y'all might be moving to another house a, a, a new home i'm hearing maybe a new home this is the 11 11 card this is about um a lot of y'all might been seeing 11 11 as well uh this is like um if it's love it's like a soulmate energy we've seen that in the readings too uh soulmate like connections like it's supposed to be might be moving in together with somebody um it's about balance and stability here, like some kind of balance here. Here's the King of Wands. This may be the one that you be moving in with. This person is exciting, uh, uh, action oriented. This person is like a, a leader. Okay, so yeah, this may be some of y'all moving towards in this with this Four of Wands with. This could be your soulmate because the Four of Wands is about soulmate energy. So a lot of y'all are moving. You know, got your stuff together here, moving forward, you know, leaving the past behind, you done healed, and now you're moving on to your destiny, your true destiny here. This could be a king or a queen. Remember, um, we're doing general, so we don't know no gender. So, yeah, you're dealing with somebody here that's coming along that's really powerful, strong, handsome, or lady, gorgeous, fiery. Uh, a go-getter. They bring it on. The King of Wands or the Queen of Wands, they bring it on, okay? Uh, very confident about themselves. Very stand-up. Yeah, you got Justice and the Emperor, okay? We got two major arcana cards here. So, Justice, somebody could be a Libra in the house, okay? And we got um the Emperor. Wow. So, for a lot of you, star seeds and you know, um, earth angels and things like that, right now, it's um, you got your justice. This is all justice that's coming towards you now. It's justice. It's it's like I told you earlier. It's it's everything that was 
you know, marked down as what you were going through to bring justice in other people's lives, you had to sacrifice and you had to be the sacrificial lamb. And they had that all written up in heaven, like I said, and put it in your, um, in your bank account in heaven. And now it's being released to you here on, um, on real time on, on, um, on this universe now. It's being released to you so you can enjoy it. And then when you leave here, it's going to be more for you to enjoy spiritually. That's what's going on here. Now y'all got your justice and you took him back control of your life. It could be with an Aries. Yeah, you took him back control of your life. You in charge, large and in charge at this. Hmm. Nine of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You, you're happy. It's your wish fulfillment. You got your wish fulfillment from the from above, okay? They opening that bank account for you and, and throwing it down here for you to get and receive your wish fulfillment in all ways. <laughs> and we got the Seven of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. So... With the Seven of Pentacles, that's about, you know, you reap what you sow, basically. You know. Investments. What you gonna do with all that money, y'all? What you gonna do with it? What you gonna invest it in? You thinking about that? And here's the High Priestess, Pisces energy. Let your intuition guide you to what you make a decision on who you're going to invest in, even if you invest in yourself. But be careful, you know, be on sharp, be sharp. Use your intuition here because it's being given to you. They're saying you're the high priestess, you know. Like I told y'all earlier, look, the black and the white, she sits right there in the middle. That's the energy you have to have. It has to be balanced. You have to know both sides and when to use it. You got the two of swords. Yep. And all this is about like a lot of, it's Aquarius, Gemini, Libra's energy. All this about, you got two, uh, two of wands and the two of swords on the board. So it's like physically it's time to make a move. Okay. And use your logic. Okay. Don't, don't, you ain't got to look at nothing. You ain't got to let nobody sway you. You, you make up your own mind. This is mental. Told y'all swords is about the mind. Where is the mind? Don't get it crossed. Use your intuition here. To make a decision regarding something and trust your intuition, not nobody else's. Not simply love, not nobody else's. Trust your own intuition. You ain't got to go outside yourself for nothing. Close your eyes and feel the inner intuition within yourself. And then make the decision. Somebody's stuck between a, I don't know who this is for, but somebody's stuck between a hard place and a rock or something, like not making a decision, but it has to be made. But you do use it logically and use your intuition as well. Logic and, and, and your emotions is here. Here's the Seven of Swords, okay? The Seven of Swords talks about defeat. It talks about, <clears throat> um, and there's the two swords back here too. See it in the background back here? And the rest of them, that's the five, five of swords right there. So you done been through a battle here. Like somebody tried to play you. I don't know why we're getting back on this subject, but Spirit is showing me that. Like whoever tried to play you here, and play all these mind games and tricks and all that, lied to you, stole from you, um, cheated on you, all this kind of stuff. Look, there's two swords right there. Like... They ain't got away with nothing. They ain't got away with all that. Somebody caused a lot of strife in your deck. Because this is the seven of swords. But there's five swords here. And two still standing. So. That's the two of swords. Here's the two of swords right here. Choose wisely for some of y'all. Very little I'm feeling on this. Choose wisely. Because you done already been through the pits of hell right here. With somebody. With somebody. 
because your choice is going to manifest this right here, which is the Ten of Pentacles. That's a family that's having it all, that's generational finances, that's generational uh, everything, you know, things being passed down from one generation to another, a happy home, a happy family, having it all, inheritance for some of you. But you just got gotta just gotta watch. That's all. All you gotta do is use your own mind, your own intuition here, and, and, and trust it. And so it's gonna put somebody back uh not be able to um remember I told you swords is about your thoughts, your thought pattern. Somebody's thought pattern here is gonna be <coughs> like they can't sleep, they're gonna be haunted. See the little ghost and all that kind of stuff there and the full moon, all that somebody's gonna be haunted or something by your decision or by you getting this here ten of pentacles somebody's gonna it's gonna it's gonna freak somebody out because it's somebody who Aquarius Gemini Libra who deceived you who took you through a whole lot of shit who tried to cover up stuff lie to you cheat on you not telling the truth but see they forgot about these two swords right here when they try to get away with all this mess right here Okay, so now they got the ten of or I mean the nine of swords. They got two they got more they got these extra two swords that was here that they try to stab you with. Backstabbing. Being deceitful. Now they they in that energy. I'm going to do a couple more, and then I'm going to leave y'all. I don't know how long this video is going to be about two hours. So we got the Empress and the Devil. Wow. Hey, what? Two major arcana uh, energies here. This is the devil trying to was trying to mess with the empress here. Somebody, I told you, a star seed or a earth angel. That's what the, she's a earth energy. Like she and she embodies all the queens in the deck. That's what I'm telling all y'all that been through this. Y'all was pre already preordained to deal with it. You already were. You you were born an empress, and this devil trying to get their hands on you here. Somebody's obsessed with you here now that they know that you're the empress. They didn't believe it at first. They just thought you was, uh, how could I say it without being so hard? They thought that you were dumb and stupid and naive. That's what they thought. But now that they see that you are this beautiful empress and shit, now they obsessed with you. They don't want to let you go. That's why you got to be careful of some kind of decision that's coming up here for you. Choose wisely is all I can say as a as a reader and seeing what this is. I can't tell nobody what to do. And Six of Pentacles talking about somebody wants to be fair. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn may be doing this. Talking about they want to be care or Capricorn. Talking about they want to be fair. But spirit is encouraging to move forward with the world card with this. Just go ahead on and move forward. The world is waiting on you. And close this cycle out with whoever this devil energy is. Just close it out. Close it out because they are going to try to stop you. They're going to try to stop you. This stuff they seen and they act like they ain't seen it. They ain't know who you was. They ain't know who they was fucking with. But they about to fucking find out. Well, they found out. Now there ain't nothing they can do about it. Yeah, they're going to try to cause with the five of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Yeah, you're going to leave them out in the cold. Like, you're going to leave them alone, period. That's what the five of pentacles is. Leaving somebody alone. Somebody could be out of money or something like that. They might have lost their money. Low on funds and all that stuff. Yeah, and then we got the uh, page of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody, you know, I don't know. They try to offer you little. This is somebody been breadcrumbing you or something like that on purpose. They didn't have to do this, but they chose to do it. A lot of this stuff from this person, they chose to treat you this way. And that's why they're going to get what they're going to get, which is what? <laughs> the Five of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorp Scorpio. They're going to be in a lot of regret over this. When you when you go on about your life and leave them out in the cold like this, like how they done you so many times, at least five times, okay? 
and now they're in the five of cups they're going to be heavily disappointed and all they're going to be doing is drowning in their sorrow and thinking about you all the time and how they hurt you but with the two of cups these two cups in the background that's you and your soulmate that's where you're going to be headed toward and all they're going to do is be in the middle watching all the shit that they've done to you for, for that's how they, that's the karma for them it is it, it's sulking and never forget about you period should I get one more? Queen of Swords. Yeah, you ain't tolerating they shit no more. You don't put your foot down. Be like, fuck you. I'm out of here. Ain't no more compromising. Ain't no more going back and forth. I'm done. I'm moving on. Yep, that's the that's the that's the uh the Queen of Swords, which is an Aquarius. Like you using your mind instead of your heart. You're not the Queen of Cups, you're the Queen of Queen of Cups uses her heart and stuff like that and she you know she's the one to always get messed up and stuff because she uses her heart she's such a sweetheart you don't turn from sweetheart to a fucking real life bitch and this person ain't never seen it before but they get ready to the moon card yeah it's gonna be exposed <laughs> you gonna see they gonna see you see that they gonna see Queen of Pentacles. I think we got all the queens out here. I told you that's why you're an empress. You embody all the queens. Queen of Pentacles. Here you go with that. You're the Queen of Pentacles. You might uh, get married. You may get end up getting married or something like that. And temperance is like healing. You done already healed. Seven of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Walking away. Going on to your thing and then we got the nine of cups there's somebody here that's just going to keep on chasing you um collective for some of y'all this could be a whole nother degree they, they just going to keep on um trying to bring these cups but i don't see the ace of cups here i just keep seeing doggone knights and, and pages that's all i keep saying it takes too long for this person to step up to the plate and you're already gone. It takes them too doggone long. So we got the Eight of Pentacles here. Like, they want to talk about they want to work on the relationship here. Wow, Ace of Wands. But I'm going to tell you one thing. The, the wands in the deck are, you know, normally the phallus for the male. Or the woman is her, you know what. Uh, all they want to bring on is some kind of passion, new beginning. All they want to do is bring on some, probably some sexual energy, thinking that that's going to coerce you to not to leave them or go anywhere. We got the King of Cups here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Here's a nice guy here, okay? And the Three of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, they just want a good time. Whoever this is, they ain't changed. They want a good time. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to juggle. They, you know, they want to go back and forth. This is somebody who juggled you possibly in the past, and all they coming back is to do the same thing. Take the right path, y'all. Take the right path because you know that's gonna put them in the judgment for doing this over and over and over again, trying to keep you on some loop here. Here you are, sweetheart. The Queen of Cups. Now we got all the cups up, all the queens on this board right now. And you, 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 queens or kings, spirit, yeah, you just sweet anyway. Like, nobody's moving you here. It's like you just, or they just discovering or something like that, or they just ain't good enough for the queen of cups. They just ain't got what it takes to be in the presence of the queen of cups. Or it's also telling me you already know this is coming. You already know, because the queen of cups is also highly intuitive. Her and the, um, um, and we had this a couple of times too. Her and the um, high priestess are like sisters. The high priestess is older than the queen of cups, okay? They like sisters. They both have that magic touch. Six of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Again, there's a lot of cups coming through here. The six of cups. <clears throat> <clears throat> Somebody want to, uh, I feel like they want to talk, they want to use your queen of cups, they want to use your soft side and try to use this, these memories and stuff like from the past because the six of cups is about the past. You know, what's going on in the past memories, past lover, past all this. And I feel like somebody, that's what they're going to try to, they want to get you in your queen of cups mode. They don't want you to be in that, um, uh, 
Queen of uh, Swords mode. They want you this loving person that they used to messing with your emotions and you're playing on your heartstrings. That's what they want. But the Five of Swords here is like they trying to win at no cost. That's it. That's what they trying to do. They trying to get you in your emotions and feelings, talking about the past and how y'all was good together or did had good sex and all this or whatever it is, you know. But they ain't talking about this Two of Pentacles, are they? They ain't talking about all this juggling they've been doing with you. They ain't talking about they had you going back and forth in and out of your life like you was some kind of, I don't know what they thought you was. But see, they trying to, they, they, they feel defeated. They do. Some of them feel defeated. Some of them just going to try to win at all costs. That's what I'm saying. Like, man, no, because you headed on a good journey. You're on a good path here. You got the Three of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Like, I tell, we got two threes here. This person was juggling a lot and never said anything about it. And if they was in, uh, in another relationship, they never told you about it. Something about they got caught or something like that or a spirit told you or something wasn't right and you found out about it. This person was study juggling and probably still is and probably still want to keep you in this third party energy. That's what they trying to do. Page of Wands here. Here we go with more pages. More pages. What's this message that you're going to cut it out with the death card? Get some of y'all Scorpios. You're going to cut it out. End it. Transformation time. That's the message that you're going to give them. And you're going to be victorious with the Six of Wands. You won, y'all. That's your story here. You won. And you're going to start a whole brand new beginning with the Fool card. You ain't taking nobody with you. You're going to take this big-ass leap of faith and start a whole new lifestyle. Everything is going to be new. Ain't nothing old coming with you, y'all. Nothing. And I'm going to end it at that. I know it was a long one. You know, and it's been a few days since I come on, and that's because I had so many readings to do. I really did. And um, this is the energy that y'all needed to know. If you need a reading, know what to do, have any questions or anything like that, you want this t-shirt, again, it comes, I'll put it, I'll put the link in my description and um, on my community tab. Uh, you get this, whatever, whatever size you want, and you can get it black. I got a black one with the white letters on it. They fucked around and found out, didn't they? <laughs>